Foreman, has the jury reached a verdict? Yes, Your Honour. How do you find the defendant? We find the defendant guilty as charged. jail system is a human being, first and foremostly. One of the officers have opened up the doors upstairs and called out to the wing office downstairs telling someone's hung himself. Went upstairs and had a look and it was one of our inmates, one of our friends. He hung himself during the night. He was only about 19 years old. Long Bay is a windy place. But once you're behind that wall, the wind stops blowing. Evidence that you have entered an artificial environment. I expected jail to be noisy and crowded, that we'd be jostled. Instead, it was lifeless, humourless. Everybody seemed to be brooding. In one of the yards, murals disguise the bricks and mortar. Their themes are peaceful, except for the guy who's being mugged in the background. How tough is jail? It makes you hard. It makes you um, lose a lot of the self-respect that you may have had when you were on the outside. Um, but I think there's one thing that they can't take away from a prisoner and that's their dignity. If you're a prison informer, a child molester, rapist, young and good looking, or just simply can't survive in the main jail, this is where you come to serve your time. It's called protection, a wing that's completely separate from the main prison. These men are detested by the rest of the prison population. I had the same two guys come into my cell four times on four separate occasions and beat me up. You know, four or five will gang on to one person. If they don't like you, they don't like you. There's, and there's nothing you can do about it. A lot of the blokes here that are on protection are here simply because they can't fight well enough. Stay out there or come in here, you know, stay out there you die or you get injured severely. Someone asked me to go into their cell for a cup of coffee and I thought, it, you know, it was just a friendly gesture and when I got in there, you know, two blokes started belting me with an iron bar for a gold ring. I ended up in hospital for five weeks. Um, I lost my testicle from it, fractured ribs, cracked skull. I just didn't want another bashing like that for a gold ring. Did they get the ring? Yeah. Protection is cramped, crowded and dirty. 120 men live here. If a prisoner feels he needs protection, the authorities must provide it. So the numbers grow daily. It's three to a cell at times, so there's a lot of resentment about the conditions. I wonder why everyone gets bloody germs, things like that. Do you think you deserve better? <laughs> yes. What do you think the public's attitude to that would be? <laughs> <laughs> give us nothing. That's what they'd think. We shouldn't be treated like animals. We like to be given a fair go the same as everyone else. We've got mould in the showers where we have to shower. That's when we get a hot shower. Is that hot water? Uh, Stick your hand under and have a pearl. It's not. Is they it ever hot? Yeah, They're hot for about an hour in the morning. I guarantee you there'd be half the blokes here who probably only have one every three or four days. Well, you can understand that when the water's like this. Do you miss your privacy? 
Yeah, but you get, you learn to, uh, you know, not worry about it. I remember the first time I ever got got locked up. You know, and you, you're standing there naked in front of Luba blokes, and you know, you feel a bit, oh, feel a bit funny. But over the years, don't blink twice now. You can go sit over there and have a crap with 30 blokes around. It's nothing. It's difficult to grow up and mature in this environment. Like I came here 18 days after my 18th birthday, and I've been here virtually ever since. And I don't know how the authorities feel, but I don't believe this is the place to develop and grow and, you know, like uh, go through things like parental modelling and learning moral values and so on. In here, you only learn Crim's code. Do you think you deserve better? I think so. I think so. Within protection, there is strict protection. That means these men have to be protected from the protected. Their lives are at risk 24 hours a day. So from early morning until the evening, these prisoners are kept in what can only be described as open cages, exposed to all weather. Why are you out here? I'm in for child abuse. So you're a prisoner who's really disliked. I'm yeah? not liked by no one, that's correct. Well, we get stirred by different prison officers and things like that all the time here, right? I've had that much problems. I've been bashed that many times in prison through, you know, different people just bash me and sort of things because of what I'm in prison for. And we get stirred by the office. I get stirred by the officers that much. You know, they come up to your yard and they say, oh, how would we be able to put a little 12 year boy in there with you and things like that, you know? But I've had acid thrown in my eyes, I've had my ribs broken, I've had my eyes bunged up, my lips split, my bro nose broken through f that many times. It's not funny. We're treated that bad. We're like, like animals? Like animals. So we're locked in here like, ca we're like caged animals here. Cockroaches crawling all over the place. And what do we get? Nothing. Why are you, the why are you in here? Just for car stealing. But why are you in protection? Because I'm a young black. I got bashed out in the main and I got bashed in here. I can't go back out now. I'm trying to get to Parramatta and they won't send me there. Because he's a sex object to a lot of older, older prisoners. That's why. But this, is, this is what these places are. They're places where they put society's mistakes. What's the worst thing that's happened to you while you've been in prison? I lost my girlfriend. And what did she mean to you? She meant a lot to me. I loved and cared about her a lot, you know. I didn't know her that long, but to me she was someone special, you know. And uh, to lose someone like that, it can really get you in jail, you know. Because you know, out there I've got nothing. In here I've, I've been stripped from everything, you know. What friends I have got out there, you know, um, you know, I'm bound to lose them uh, through my own stupidity. But uh, this time when I get out, uh, I'm going to make a go of it. I'm going to fight.